welcome. It's season two of Bernie at the Bar, season two, episode one. And tonight, my guest is director Paul Jacliff, director of Della Duce, the first show in our 2024-2025 season. It is a world premiere production and winner of the 2023 Vintage New Play Festival. So, Paul, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so tell me a little bit... Um, Tell the folks at home who may not be familiar with you uh, some of the work that you've done recently. Sure. Um, so I've actually done a lot of new stuff recently. Mm. Um, I did Best Day of Your Life here at Vintage. That's another new play festival winner. Exactly. Um, and now we're doing this one, another new, quest new play festival winner. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, and you directed another show at Vintage. I did a little show called The Normal Heart. A little show. Right. <laughs> and we had 85 actors in the small theater, right? Exactly. <laughs> and again, it was in the small theater, uh, but that was back in 2016. Right. And well. then I had kids. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it took a while to get back. That takes up some time, doesn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, t give us a sense of uh, what is it like to work on a world premiere production? You, know, so you, can't, do, you can't go on Google and say and see... For example, what have other folks done with this play or... No, in fact, the pictures that you do f for this run are the pictures other people will That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Which is, you know, there's no pressure there at all. <laughs> so uh, what you do is you just, you delve into the story. Mm. You, you really rely on, on your assistant director yeah. and other people in the production to do some research as well as yourself mm -hmm. so that you can make it seem like that 1981 uh, New York City street yeah so w while we're here give the folks uh just a little mini synopsis of what the play's about sure uh so this is about a woman who want who is 40 years old uh she sort of lived in her own little cage her whole life and she wants to start her life over mm. and so what better place to do that than new york city what what better place indeed Absolutely. so she packs up moves to new york city and starts her life over in the art world right uh, tell us who uh, who was on your design team for this. So we have Luke Allen Terry, uh, sorry, Luke Allen Romsdorf Terry, Susan uh, Romsdorf Terry, uh, and we also had uh, Logan Foy, mm -hmm. and they they're just brilliant. Uh, Luke does the sound, Susan does the costumes. Mm -hmm. Susan's very meticulous with her research, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. So is Luke, right. and, and Logan uh, does, did this great thing where he wanted to color. Della uh, honey colored the whole time because of a reference in the script. So, okay. so he, so that's what he does, sort of. And you can sort of see that on. Stage. So, folks that see the show might pick up a little bit on exactly some of the similarities there. Exactly. And uh, you were talking about costuming and and how uh, Susan is meticulous about her research. Uh, and 1981, right? It's now a period piece. It's a pretty specific right? era. So, yeah. like, that's when New York City is changing. Hmm. It's like the 70s are one era, and yeah. the 80s are, you know, that big, you know, punk hair and, <laughs> and all that. So, and right in that transition. So, it's really an interesting area, era of New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, what uh, folks might not know yet is that your wife, Joanna, plays <laughs> yeah. uh, Della Duce in Della Duce. Wait, she does? <laughs> you're right <laughs> what uh so what is it like directing your wife in this show you know it's 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 an interesting process because mm. you know the process really doesn't end you know like a normal rehearsal process yeah. you go home at the end of the day and you go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> that's what i tend to do yes but uh in this case you know we drive to rehearsal together we mm. talk about the character mm. we talk about what's going on on stage uh, we go home, we talk about what just happened for the last three hours, uh, and we don't get divorced at the end. That's pretty really cool. <laughs> at least I, I hope not. What a great thing. Well, cheers, cheers to not getting divorced. And uh, sounds like um, extended, ex an extended rehearsal period, that's all. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and which is fun, and you know, it just allows us to talk about what's going on for her. I mean, her being the title character, it really lets her know what's going on and make informed choices and for her character she's on stage practically the entire time yeah i almost. think there's like maybe two scenes where she's not right <laughs> so it's a lot a lot to handle it is uh how would you describe your directing style you know i i sort of uh delve into the characters of the show uh mm. me I, i'm an actor myself sorry about that i'm an actor myself and i like to um know all 
the stuff about the characters and what's going to make the actor's life the most simple. Um, diving into the characters really helps you tell the story because that's where the script is, you know, so you can focus on those lines and, and get them out in a clear, concise way and, you know, really use them to do character development. Yeah. Now, in this instance in particular, uh, the playwright is from Colorado. Yeah. So have you been in this situation before where the playwright is also attending in the rehearsal room? Maybe not all the time, but sometimes? No, it's a really interesting, um, really interesting situation. You yeah. Know, I've never been in a situation where the playwright is actually there like a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. And it's great because Kirsten, our playwright, um, you know, really helps provide a lot of feedback with what she thought she was doing when she imagined the scene. Mm, and okay. I, I sort of try and meld that with what I think the scene is like. And, you know, that's what we have for you guys tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and it's been a really wonderful process working with her. You know, she's such mm. a nice, nice woman. Um, and she just has all of these great thoughts about her characters mm. and what she thinks the scene should look like. And, and it really helps me build that, that world together. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Again, it's opening night of Della Duce, the world premiere, and it runs through uh, September 22nd. 22nd. You can get your tickets at www.vintagetheater.org. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.